Mexico is so much more than just a sun and sand destination. It's rich in culture, has great people, and has world-renowned cuisine. Still, the country is best known as a beach getaway, and for good reasons. The beaches in Mexico are some of the best in the entire world. Mexico has almost 6,000 miles, or almost 10,000 kilometers, of coastline providing countless breathtaking beaches with endless activities. Here are our top favorite beach towns in Mexico in no particular order, so let's get started. First up, Cancun. With the gorgeous turquoise Caribbean sea, powdery white sand, and lively coral reefs, it's no surprise that Cancun is one of Mexico's most popular beach towns. We spent over two months in Cancun and we absolutely love this city. It has so many cenotes, ancient Mayan ruins, and pristine beaches. But it has way too many people for our liking. So when we found this hidden gem right outside of Cancun, we were on cloud nine. Isla Blanca is about an hour drive north of Cancun. And while the name suggests that it's an island, it actually is a skinny peninsula. The beach at Isla Blanca is best known for a local hangout and for kite surfer enthusiasts. Due to the bumpy and kind of sketchy dirt road that you have to take to get to Isla Blanca, we recommend taking a car with a little bit of clearance. We rented a small sedan, we still made it there fine, but if you have a truck or an SUV, that is ideal. These potholes and this road is gnarly. There's just huge buses and semis coming through and then there's little motorcycles. So I think it's a slow drive. What a nightmare. Never. Wow, oh, look at that pothole. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Oh, now we've got a really bumpy road. Oh. This is probably why the beach was empty. But if you have a vehicle or even rent one for two days, we highly recommend you go check out Isla Blanca. The beach has the whitest sand and the bluest of blue waters in all of Cancun. That's saying something, and with like almost no people. Next up is Isla Mujeres. While the beaches and the water are the same color as Cancun, the vibe on this island is so different. There's no high rises, it's not the really nice shopping malls, the everything resort, it's kind of more of a laid back island vibe. Now don't get us wrong, Isla Mujeres can get a little crowded due to being a tourist attraction, but the atmosphere of this island is definitely worth it. The best way to get around the island is by renting a golf cart. And don't worry, there are plenty of companies that rent these for a couple hours or even the full day. Make sure you stay for sunset, it definitely won't let you down. If you guys are enjoying this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate the support. Don't worry guys, we have full videos on all these beaches that we're covering today and we're gonna link them down below for you. Next up is the resort town of Mazatlan. Mazatlan is a historic capital. It's a beach resort destination and it's a romantic city. However you want your Mexican vacation to look, Mazatlan has you covered. Mazatlan has a malecon that stretches over 20 kilometers long. Make sure you check out Cor Carpa Oliveira. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. It's a swimming pool that is right in between the malecon and the ocean. And they put like a cement swimming pool in there and it's so nice to just be in there. The waves come crashing up over you. It's a cool experience. We tried surfing for the first time in Mazatlan and it was such a blast. So difficult, but still so much fun. We recommend going to Playa Brujas to check out the surfers or try surfing for yourself. If you're looking for a full beach day, we highly recommend checking out Stone Island. While it's still not an island, this beach is a lot of fun with vendors and a lot of activities. You can take a taxi there, but we recommend taking the cheaper option, which is a water taxi. Check out our full video on Mazalan and how to get there. You won't be disappointed. 
This video is sponsored by Seekway, the affordable and comfortable water shoe. When we're not hanging out at the best beaches in Mexico, we're in our home state of Montana, where we're going to the river and the lakes and playing in the water. So it's important to have a comfortable, durable, but light water shoe. One thing that I love about Seekway is that they're fashionable. I feel so comfortable going straight from the beach to then going in town and grabbing some smoothies or grabbing a quick bite to eat while wearing my Seekway shoes. One thing I like about the Seekway shoes is that they're very light. I like the strong, durable sole because when I'm on the river rocks, my feet aren't hurting and they're very flexible. And one thing I noticed about other water shoes or sandals we've taken while traveling, they're really hard to pack and they're heavy. So I like that I'm not sacrificing a lot of luggage space because when you're internationally traveling, every inch of your bag matters. So they can be completely flat, roll them up, whatever, and they go right back to form. We're so excited to now be taking our new Seekway water shoes with us on all of our international travels. So go to seekwayer.com and use promo code Pat and Maddie for 20% off your entire order. Now let's get back to the best beach towns in Mexico. Next up is our best kept secret, La Paz. Okay guys, La Paz gives Cancun a run for its money in terms of its gorgeous white sand beaches and crystal clear blue waters, but with like a fraction of the people. First up is Playa Coromel. It is the closest beach to the tourist corridor. Playa Coromel is popular to the locals due to its close proximity to the city and because of its fun friendly atmosphere. They have water slides, vendors, you can go snorkeling there and the water is pristine. Belandra Bay is La Paz's signature beach. If you've heard of La Paz, you've heard and seen pictures of Belandra Bay. It was named Mexico's best beach in 2019. While Belandra Bay does have an entrance fee, you will not be disappointed by going to this beach. It is gorgeous. Tecolote is next to Belandra Bay and it's known for its delicious restaurants, endless water activities, and party atmosphere. An hour outside of La Paz is the town Todos Santos. While it's best known for being the town of the song Hotel California, Yes, that Hotel California. We liked it because of its close proximity to Cerritos Beach. This was Maddie's attempt at becoming a pro surfer. She was so dedicated that she spent all day trying to surf to only stand up a couple times. She was in there so long that it resulted in a nasty sunburn. Always remember to reapply sunscreen. Last up is Sayulita. While we have personally never created a video on Sayulita, we have actually been there a plethora of times. I personally have mixed feelings on Sayulita. While it's a lot of fun, it is one giant party. Personally, I love getting street tacos and they're everywhere there. The beaches are great. If you like surfing, that's a great place to go, but there is a strong back current, so keep that in mind if you bring your kids there. Personally, I've been to Sayulita several times. It's not a place I'm not gonna go out of my way for. I highly recommend instead going to San Pancho, notably known as San Francisco, which is the next neighboring town, and you can check out our video on San Pancho on our YouTube. We really hoped you guys enjoyed this video and that it helped you plan your next vacation to Mexico. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's video. We'll see you next week.